From the previous video, we discussed how to create a requisition and introduced you to the job requisitions page. From here, we spoke about how you can see any job requisition that you are playing a role for. So for the purposes of this video, I'm playing the role of, of the interviewer and I'm signed to the interviewer in this case is Amanda. So I'm signed in as Amanda this time. Basically, once the uh, requisition has been created and, and you forwarded it onto the uh, recruiter, as we did in the last video, they would then post the job, get candidates to apply, and you can see in this case we've had eight candidates apply for this requisition. They would filter through those candidates and then forward candidates to the interviewer that they have deemed eligible for going to that stage. You will then be notified as the interviewer to come into the recruitment system and review the candidate's application, and that can happen in a couple of ways. The interviewer can, uh, the, the recruiter, sorry, can actually send you an email and they can actually attach some of the details around the interview, dates, times, and also some of the details around the candidates uh, to prompt you to come into the system to review the applications and then uh, progress through to the interview. You can actually click on a hyperlink within the uh, email, which would bring you to this page, or you could navigate, as we just showed in the previous videos, by logging into the system and then coming through to the recruiting page. So if I, here you can see that the eight candidates as I flagged before, you can click on that and it will bring you through to the candidate detail screens within the requisition. Now there's only two here, obviously we can see that there is eight in total, there's six over here and there's two over here. I only have access as the interviewer to the two, in, the two that I want to interview, obviously that's what I'm interested in right now and so that's what it's showing me in this screen here. I can select the, the candidates and I can bring up their applications. I can review the details that they've answered on their application form as well as some of the questions they've answered. Um, I could open their CVs from this screen if I chose to. You can see a CV has been attached here for this application. Um, and I can go through, as I mentioned before, some of the things that they've answered in the, in the pre-screening process. You can then click return to list. You can also see here that these candidates have been scored based on their pre-screening answers uh, and that's what the rating is showing here. It also has some other information around their phone numbers, um, when, when the, their application was last updated, so on and so forth. Once I've done that review and I'm ready to uh, interview one or both of the candidates, I then navigate through to interview central which is one of the tabs I've got up here. Once in, in Interview Central, it brings you to this screen. And again, you can see the candidates, you can see the dates that the interviews have been booked for. Interview teams about how many people have been assigned as interviewers. So in this case, it's just me, so it's showing one there. Um, you can also see some of the interview details. Now, in the interview details, we can see we've got what's called a print and go, or it's referred to as in the system as a print and go pack. I'm just gonna click on that now. So you can see print and go pack. Basically in here, I can see as per the requisition that we, we looked in the previous video, we can see all the job description and some of the elements that would have been used to post the ad. Again, we can see who the interviewer is. We can also see the competencies that have been assigned to this candidate or this job. You can also notice here that um, there's also another opportunity here to um, access the person's CV. And also the, inter the, the uh, recruiter sorry, has created a customized interview guide for this role which they've also attached to this requisition. So I could hit print here and it would print all the elements um, associated with the print and go pack in preparation for me to have all the documentation that I need to go and have that interview. So let's go back to the screen. The other elements in this screen is, is once we've obviously gone, done that, had the interview, I would then come back to the, to the interview central and I need to rate the candidate or candidates. So you can see here I click on rate now for one or both of the candidates. And once in here, I can see, again, those competencies we spoke about before that have been assigned to this requisition, and I want to rate each of the candidates on each of the competencies. So you can see if I hover over one, one is unsatisfactory, two is below expectations, three is meets expectations, four exceeds, and five is outstanding. You can also see this little bubble here. By clicking on the bubble, I can come in here and I can actually put some comments specific to how the candidate answered quest the questions associated with that competency. 
So the interview guide that we saw before would have questions associated to each competency. Based on their responses, I could rate, and then also if I would chose to, put some details about their responses. So I might put why one candidate are rated, are rated highly versus another. You'll also notice that once I've rated each of those competencies, I've also got the right to work down here set as a competency. So in the process as it is today, we would cite the right to work documentation and we would um, uh, normally take a photo or scan or do other things to get that information to the recruitment to the recruiter. We've, we've changed that process now and we actually prompt the uh, candidate to upload that right to work evidence as one of their attachments to their application. What we also prompt or, or instruct the, the candidate to do when we book them in for an interview is to bring some form of identification that is acceptable to us so that they can show you that they are who they say they are and they have the right to work. Once you've cited that, you'll also score that as well. So one being unsatisfactory, so they didn't produce the documentation, or five being they, they produced the documentation as, as was expected and instructed. And you can also put a comment here if, you know, reasons why they didn't, um, or if they did, um, what, what sort of evidence that they provided. We also have the opportunity to upload interview notes. Now, this isn't something that we would necessarily need to use, but it is a function that's available to us. To do that, we'd have to have the notes scanned and saved to our computer that we could then upload by clicking on the link here. So it's not something that um, you necessarily need to do, but it is an option there should you have access to that functionality within the location that you're, you, know, you work within. We also have the overall rating system here. So we would have scored, so I'm just gonna quickly score, and I'll just put numbers in here. And you can see it's actually creating an average over here based on the scores that I'm putting in. And then we'll score the other candidate. And we get a comparative rating here. So then you wanna give the overall thumbs up or thumbs down for which candidate we wanna go with. So I'll put a thumbs up here, I'll put a thumbs down here, and we'll put a comment. You, you, might, not cho you might not have decided to put over, you know, each comment here, but just put an overall comment here as to why you're selecting this candidate. You can put that information in there as well and save. Once you've done that, you click I have finished. It'll return us to the summary page and you can see a summary of what you've actually done within your ratings here. And straight away, the recruiter also has access to this information. So just to recap, we've gone through um, accessing Interview Central and how we'd get notified that uh, candidates have been progressed to the interview stage. We can see how we can actually then access the print and go pack and the resume and other items associated with um, the, the candidate and their application. We've, we've gone through how to um, conduct, after conducting the interview, interview, rating the candidates and giving that feedback back into the, the recruiter and all that information is saved within the system. So from the previous uh, process that we would have had, you would know that you would have to scan front, front pages and all that sort of stuff. We no longer have to do that with, this, with the new system. Have a look, also I'd recommend having a look for the next video which touches on mobility and how Interview Central can be done from your mobile device. Thanks.